It's three for Thursday and Southwest is having a problem, y'all. Arbitrage News Daily starts right now. Good morning. Here's your Arbitrage News Daily for Thursday, December 29, 2022. I'm Joshua Stark. Travelers who counted on Southwest Airlines to get them home suffered through another wave of canceled flights Wednesday, and pressure grew on the federal government to help customers get reimbursed for unexpected expenses they incurred because of the airline's meltdown. Exhausted Southwest travelers tried finding seats on other airlines or renting cars to help get to their destination, but many remained stranded. The airline CEO said that it could be next week before flight schedule returns to normal. By late morning on the East Coast, about 90% of all canceled flights Wednesday in the U.S. were on Southwest, according to FlightAware. More after this on Arbitrage News Daily, including your 3 for Thursday picks. Stick around. To protect his home and family from disaster, Steve used courage, wisdom, and his camera phone. That should do it. Way to go, Steve! By simply taking digital pictures of his family's important documents, Steve can always have them stored safely online, no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to protect your home and family before a natural disaster at ready.gov. That's ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. Welcome to 3 for Thursday. Our first pick develops, manufactures, packaged, markets, and distributes generic versions of brand pharmaceutical products in the United States. Lanet Company, symbol LCI, starts around 180 a share. Next, this pick, a clinical stage biotechnology company, discovers and develops therapeutic candidates for the treatment of hepatitis B infection in the United States. Assembly Biosciences, symbol ASMB, starts around 120 a share. Last, this pick connects home service professionals with consumers in the United States and internationally. Angie, symbol ANGI, starts at around 217 a share. Don't forget, we're available 24 7 at arbitragetrade.com and .org. Don't forget to share us with your friends. Or arbitrage trade wherever you find your fine podcasts and on social media. Back after this. We're all doing a lot. A lot of swiping, streaming, scrolling, double tapping, and social media stalking. A whole lot of nothing. You're probably scrolling right now. While we think a certain red heart is giving us life, we're neglecting the one that actually does. So let's take a stand against sitting. Let's care more about strolling than scrolling. Let's take charge of our health. Let's make moves together, starting now. I mean, now. I hope you're checking out our blog at arbitragetrade.com for more insight on our news stories and arbitragetrade.org for some educational resources that we have. Riddle time. I may be simple. I may be complex. I may have a name, but no gender or sex. I am often a question or statements as a setup. I tend to have an answer till you find it I won't let up. What am I? Very apropos for our last riddle of the year. Answer tomorrow. We'll see you then. Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC, is a privately held market research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC, is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the content of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to be investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.